Hello, this is Fanku from Efficient Guitar and I'm going to show you how to play the chords for the song Hanging Around by Basement. First of all, what we are going to do is to tune down our guitar one half step. That would be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat and E flat again. There is a common rhythmic pattern on, in all the songs that consists in having a chord falling on the first beat of the bar and then the second chord is articulated on the upbeat of the fourth time of the same bar. This will result in anticipating the chord of the next bar and this pattern remains consistent during all the song. I'm going to count it for you. It would be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So instead of having one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to anticipate the second chord. One, two, three, four. And one. The first chord is an F sharp minor 11, which would be this one. You're going to place your index finger on the fret number 9 of the 5th string, your middle finger on the fret number 11 on the 4th string, and your pinky on the 13th fret of the 3rd string. And you play from the 5th string down. Two open strings, the uh, first and second strings are open. Right, this would be the chord. You shouldn't play the sixth string. You can mute it with the tip of your finger, of your index finger. See? I'm muting here with the tip of the index finger. And then the second, the second chord would be a D sus2 with an added 13 we're just going to call it D this is D major so which is the same shape but actually on the fifth fret from the fifth fret index finger fifth fret fifth string middle finger uh, on the seventh fret of the fourth string and the pinky on the ninth, uh, ninth fret of the third string and also the two lower strings are open and also you should be playing the sixth string so it's exactly the same shape right you're going to see on the um, the tablature that there are some up, up strokes with open strings. These are just the result of continuing continuously strumming the strings and when you switch the position of your hand between chords you usually lift your hand and that up stroke comes from that, like this. Also, you have the, the crosses, which would be the dead notes. You have them here. See, you just hit the strings, but with no chord. You neither lifting your fingers, but just touching the strings and muting all of them. Yeah, you mute them. Not making any pressure on the strings.
the strumming pattern for the intro would be this one. I'm going to play part one and two. I would, it would look like this. I place my F sharp minor 11 on fret number nine. And I do down, 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 up. That note up on the D sus2 at 13. Up, down, up, down, up. Again, down, 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 up, that note, up, up, down, up, down, up, right, up to speed, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Bars three and four would look like this. sequence that we just played on the second part of the intro is the same chord sequence that you're going to use for the verse 1 and 2 and also for the accompaniment for the solo part and the verse 3 and 4 further uh, in the song. This is the strumming pattern that you're going to use for the second part of the intro and for the rest of the song. 1, 2, 3, 4 down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. The rhythm that you're going to use for this strumming pattern is this one. One, two, three, four. I have a phrase for you to remember this rhythm. It will be like this. I just want my pizza with no pineapple and the strumming pattern will look like this down 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 up 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 down down up down up down 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 up 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 down down up down up I'm not counting the dead note but it would be like this down 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 up dead up up down down up down I just want my Down, down, up, down, up. With the 
chords. Three, four. Down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. Now I'm going to play verse number one and two and the pre chorus. These are the chords for the second part of the intro and also the verse 1 and 2 and the pre-chorus. The first chord that you're going to counter will be the F sharp minor 11th, the same one that you have on the first part of the intro, this one. Then you move to the D sus 2 at 13, which is the same one that uh, that follows the, the F sharp minor 11 at the intro. Then you go to the D major 7th 13th, which is this one. You're going to play it with your on the fifth string, fifth fret with the first finger, on the fourth string, seventh fret with the ring finger, and on the third string, sixth fret with the middle finger and the two lower strings open. Then you move to this chord, which is with the B minor 7th at 11th. You're going to play all on this, these notes are on the 7th fret. You're going to play the 7th fret on the 6th string. You mute the 5th string with this fleshy part of the middle finger. Then 4th string, 7th fret, and 3rd string, 7th fret. And the two lower strings are open as well. Then you move to the A at 9th, right? which would be on the 6th string, index finger on the 5th fret. On the 5th string, 7th fret with the ring finger. 4th string, 7th fret with the pinky, 3rd string on the 6th fret with the middle finger, and the two lower strings are open as well. Then you're going to move this shape, uh, one whole step, down to the 3rd fret, just this, exactly the same shape, and you will have the G6. 
After this call, you're going to move one half step to the second position and you're going to have this F sharp 7th with an added 11th. But this chord you're going to play, you're going to play this way, right? You're going to switch your index finger for the thumb on the second fret of the sixth string. And then the rest is the same. After this chord, the last one would be the F sharp 7, which is exactly the same shape, but you're going to add this index finger on the second fret of the second string. Right? These are the chords that you're going to find on the verse, but then you have the pre chorus, which is ex exactly this same last part from the A at ninth. Then back to the G, and we're going to go again to this F sharp seventh at eleventh and F sharp seven, right? Now these are the chords that you're going to find at the first chorus. The first one is uh, C sharp minor seventh, which is this one. We're going to play it this way. With the thumb on the sixth string, ninth fret, fifth string, eleventh fret with the third finger, fourth string, eleventh fret with the pinky. And with the index finger, we're going to play on the third string of the ninth fret. And the two lower strings are open. The next one will be the E sus2, which is this position. The same that you did on the intro, but starting on the seventh fret. Index finger at the seventh fret on the fifth string. Ring finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string and the pinky you can play this note with this one with this finger as well and then the pinky on the third string on the eleventh fret and the two open lower strings this is the next chord which would be the E5 same the same position for this finger in this finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string ring finger on the fourth string on this ninth fret and the pinky goes down to the ninth fret as well on the third string and the lower strings the two lower strings are open so you you will have this Then you go 
going to the A at ninth that we did on the verse and then after this one we are going to go to the F sharp 7th with an added 11th and we're going to do it this way this time and 4 are exactly the same as the verse 1 and 2 and the pre-chorus.
The second chorus is a little bit different than the first chorus. You will have these chords instead. The first one is the same chord as the first, the first one in the first chorus, which is the C sharp minor seventh. The second one is the E sus two. So far, so good. Those are the same chords. But now we are going to move to the A at ninth. And then you will go again to the C sharp minor 7. Then we have a new chord, which would be the B when I added 11th, which is exactly the same as the A at 9th, but one step higher, one whole step higher. Index finger, 6th string, 7th fret. Ring finger, 5th string, 9th fret. Pinky on the 4th string, 9th fret. Middle finger, third string, eighth fret, and the two lower strings are open. And then you go down one whole step to the fifth fret, and you play the A with added ninth. Then you start again with the C sharp minor seventh. The same thing, E sus two. A added ninth, C sharp minor seven again, B with added eleventh again, and then you go to the F sharp seven at eleventh that we played before. After this, you do the pre-chorus again two times. Remember, it was the A at ninth. G6, F sharp 7 at 11, F sharp 7, and we repeat. A at 9th, G6, and then F sharp 7 at 11, F sharp 7. And after this, you have a little part of the first intro, which would be this. and slide down the second chord. Well, there you have it. That's all you need to know to play this cool song by Basement. And I hope that you find this tutorial useful and that you get the most of it. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. I will be here. This is Facundo from Efficient Guitar. Thank you very much.